Good morning, I'm Miss Kay and I'm from the Lake Worth Beach Public Library. We get to do our opening songs today and we get to sing them together even though we aren't together. So are you guys ready? You all know the hello everybody and you get to wave at everybody, at your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. And let's go ahead and sing our song. smile which always makes any day much better. Thumbs up. Let's sing it again. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you today? We're thumbs up and a-okay. And now I think you know what we are going to do next. It's going to be our clapping. Okay, get your hands ready. Here we go. Clap, clap, clap. Swish, swish, swish. Roll, roll, roll. And tickle, tickle, tickle. That was really good. Are our elbows being tickled? Do you tickle your elbows? That's what we do when we do like this. We're tickling our elbows. And we know our elbows are so handy because they make our arms bend. Okay, let's try that again. Let's do a little bit faster this time. Clap, 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 swish, 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 roll, 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 and tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh boy, that was really good. And I think I know what our favorite one is though. How about the favorite quiet, super sneaky, quiet clapping where we don't make any noise. And if there's a baby at your house, you can trick the baby. The baby won't even know you're clapping. Let's try it. Yeah! So you guys can be so quiet. I know you can because I've heard you before. That now we're going to do our open shut them song, but that's going to be a little bit different. Today we're not going to go up to our chin, we're going to go down to our knees and give them a little tap, okay? Let's try it. We'll do it without the music first. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Creepy crawl them, creepy crawl them right down to your knees. Give your knees a little tap, then right back to your lap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Let's try it singing. So now we're going to read our book. We're going to get ready for Miss Cindy. She's going to read a book. I know you can find one. It'll be here. Here we're going to open our book. And we're going to read our book. Did you know you can make your hand into a book? And then you can pretend you're reading. You can make your own story when you're reading the book on your hand. How about that? Okay, let's sing our song. 
songs, but let's find a story time right now. Hello, story timers. We know that if we plant a carrot seed, a carrot will grow. Well, our story today is about a little bunny who wanted to plant a seed. Let's see what happens to him. Our book is called, If You Plant a Seed, by Kadir Nelson. If you plant a tomato seed, a carrot seed, and a cabbage seed in time and with loving care, tomato, carrot, and cabbage plants will grow. Oh, the bunny and the mouse are so happy. Their seeds are growing. Oh, look at this. The bunny's eating the carrot. The mouse has a tomato. They're having a nice lunch. Who came to the lunch? the birds. Do you think those birds are hungry? I think those birds are hungry. If you plant a seed of selfishness, not very long before that seed will grow and grow and grow. Oh my goodness. Into a heap of trouble. No one is happy now. Not with seeds of selfishness. But if you plant the seeds of kindness, Look what the mouse is doing. He's sharing his tomato with the birds. In almost no time at all, the fruits of kindness, look at the birds planting all their seeds, will grow and grow and grow. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful garden they all have together. And the seeds of kindness are very, very sweet. And look at all the animals now enjoying that garden together. Mmm, sure looks like fun. The seed of kindness are sweet. I like reading that story where everybody helps each other and they end up with a beautiful, beautiful garden. See you next time. I know you like to eat apples and bananas. And I know you know there's a song about apples and bananas. But today we're going to sing about, I like to eat a bunch of crunchy carrots. Can you say that? It's kind of hard to say. Let's do it. A bunch of crunchy carrots. A bunch of crunchy carrots. It's not so hard. Let's sing it. I like to eat, eat, eat a bunch of crunchy carrots.
good singing, and it's kind of hard to sing a bunch of crunchy carrots, but you did great. So do you like carrots? And can you think of anybody else, any little animals that love carrots? Did you think of some? I think the bunnies love carrots the most. And I think Miss Cindy has a book about a bunny. Let's find out.